Ladies and gentlemen, hey hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. As we've seen throughout the years so far, it seems like with every major title update, more and more new game files are added into the game regarding future content. And with the 1.23 update that we saw last week, more of the same ended up happening. And some of these new files were actually data mined and leaked, and the information we got from them details a lot of stuff about Season 5. Now, some of this info details what weapons we can expect to see, alongside a new feature as well, and we also got a few smaller leaks regarding some pretty strange things that could be coming to the game likely at some point in the next few weeks. So today we're breaking down all the new leaks that just surfaced. So if you enjoy the video at any point, let me know by dropping a like on it. And of course, if you're new here, we are always covering the latest Call of Duty news, intel, updates, leaks, and everything in between. So feel free to subscribe with your notifications turned on to stay up to date with all of that. Also, until the end of the day, my G Fuel discount code IMMORTAL will actually get you 30% off your order. So if you want to grab a new flavor, a shaker cup, or anything else from the site, now is a great time to do so. Now, briefly, before we dive into all the leaks for today, we did actually get some official confirmations on some of the upcoming content coming to the game this week via Activision's blog post. So, in their weekly blog post, they detail that the gunfight tournament system is going to be added back into multiplayer, and of course, this is going to include a few new exclusive rewards that you can unlock by progressing throughout the four rounds that are available. Then, Infinity Ward also previewed a bomb plant mosh pit coming to the game, so this will feature modes like Search and Destroy and also Demolition, but honestly, that's nothing too crazy there. Then they also mentioned that Dirty Old Houseboat will be returning as well. Now, when it comes to these leaks, honestly, we don't have a ton of them today. However, the ones that we do have are pretty interesting, at least in my own opinion, because some of them seem really trolly in a sense. Almost like Infinity Ward is just straight up messing around with us, and you'll see why here in just a moment. Then the major leak that we've got today actually pertains to some new DLC weapons that were found in the files that I'm sure a lot of players are going to be very, very excited about. So, first and foremost, we actually saw new references to a new sniper rifle known as the Remington Model 700 in the files. Uh, whether that is going to be the final name or not, only time is going to tell. But according to BK Tour, who has been leaking and data mining several things as of lately, there are a ton of new files in the game right now relating to this new Remington 700 sniper. And what is probably the most exciting about all of this is that this is said to be a new bolt action sniper, which is something players have been asking for pretty much ever since we first started seeing new DLC weapons added into the game. Now, the big question here is, can this bolt action sniper actually live up to the hype? Uh, as we know, a while back, we got word that there were several references to the intervention in the files, uh, we still don't know if that's ever going to be a thing, if the intervention will make it into the game, or if those were simply leftover files from previous years, but that really sparked the hype for people wanting to see a new dominant bolt action sniper added in. And according to this leak, the Remington Model 700 may be just that. Now, as far as the timing goes, seeing as this was just added into the files, chances are this could be an upcoming DLC weapon for Season 5. And that'll be launching here in early August, and we should be seeing at least two new DLC weapons come to the game at launch, and then probably one more during the season as well. So it is very possible that the Remington 700 is going to be one of those three new DLC weapons. Also, literally as I was recording this, I was getting ready to talk about some of the other leaked weapons that we've seen before that may have a chance at coming in Season 5. And, lo and behold, BK Tour also tweeted out about another weapon that was updated in the files, and we can assume this is going to be the AN-94. Now, obviously, I still can't show any images on screen, but BK Tour's Twitter will be linked down below if you want to go and check this stuff out for yourself. However, a while back, we also got word via Modern Warzone, I believe it was at the time, that the AN-94 was in the game files, and that it would probably be coming to the game at some point in Season 5. In fact, Modern Warzone has said multiple times now that he believes the AN-94 will be a Season 5 DLC weapon. And now, seeing as BK Tour has found updated references to it, I would say it definitely looks like it could very well be one of our future DLC weapons for next season. So, going off of these leaks, we can effectively assume that we've got two of the three new DLC weapons already in the files right now. So, what could that third one possibly be? Well, as of now, we don't have any direct evidence like we do with the AN-94 and the Remington. However, a while back, Modern Warzone did say that there were references to the Spaz-12 in the game. And while these could easily just be leftover files like what I assume the intervention ones are, 
there is a chance that the Spaz-12 could be coming to the game too, especially seeing as the shotguns haven't really gotten a ton of love when it comes to new DLC weapons throughout the year. But either way, if we do end up seeing the AN-94 and the Remington 700 as it seems we will, that is at the minimum two very exciting weapons that I know a lot of people will take some interest in, especially that bolt action sniper. Now, the weapon leaks were not the only new files that were data mined recently. We also saw a few more peculiar things surface in the past few days. And uh, honestly, like I said earlier, I think this may be Infinity Ward playing some fun little games with the community because our friend Geeky Pastimes tweeted out saying, we are getting a submarine horn in Warzone. And of course, if you have been keeping up with the ongoings of Warzone recently, you probably know that we just had that whole debate about what exactly those shadows are at the top of the dam. And while it has been debunked that those shadows are just texture glitches that can be seen all over the map, including over at the ocean and even on top of the stadium, the main idea that we had was that those shadows were submarines under the ice. So uh, maybe Infinity Ward caught on and decided to have some fun with an upcoming horn. Then Geeky also mentioned that it seems a train whistle is going to be coming as a new horn option too. And here, we obviously have the whole train storyline unfolding right now with the 1930 Express and the train tracks on the map and the rumored underground transit area too. So this could either be another teaser for that, or again, just Infinity Ward having some fun with the community's ideas. So yeah, obviously these are not the most game-changing leaks out there, right? You know, there's nothing too crazy about some simple vehicle horns, but they are some pretty funny leaks nonetheless. Then we also got another very, very interesting leak, because this is something we pretty much assumed would not be coming to the game, because Infinity Ward actually said it probably was not going to happen. But now, according to Modern Warzone, in the files there is now a Weapon Inspect animation. Now, of course, Weapon Inspect is something we've seen in recent years, but this year it was actually cut from the game. And personally, as someone who 1. needs weapon renders for thumbnails, and 2. loves the gunsmith customization, I was really really disappointed when it was announced Weapon Inspect would not be a part of the game. But now it randomly appears in the files, what, 9 months into the year? So perhaps in the coming days or weeks, we are going to see it added into the game for multiplayer in Warzone. Now, again, this is obviously not something that is massively game-changing. However, it is a feature that I would personally love to see added in, and judging from some comments I've seen in the past, I think there are plenty of other people who would want to see it added in as well. Unfortunately though, we don't have any time frame on when this could be coming to the game, and as always with leaks, just because it is in the files does not necessarily mean it's 100% confirmed to be coming to the game, so just keep that in mind too. All around though, Season 5, at least based off of these leaks, is definitely looking like it could be pretty solid. Outside of all the stuff that we covered here today, it's also been rumored that the Warzone map updates are going to take place at some point in Season 5, either right at launch alongside the official Season 5 update, or sometime shortly thereafter during the quote-unquote event. As of now, the stadium is said to be the main target for an update, and a moving train should be coming to the map as well according to the files. It was also rumored that said event could spark the reveal of Call of Duty 2020 in some way, shape, and or form. And of course, when it comes to the storyline of everything, Season 5 is going to include a ton of progression there as well. We know that we've got plenty more intel missions coming up in Warzone. We should actually be getting the third set of intel this week with the updates, and it seems like those challenges will be sort of a bi-weekly thing leading up to the end of the season, where it'll probably tie into the Season 5 intro cinematic, which, in case you didn't know, Part of the Season 5 intro cinematic was also data mined, and it's been said that apparently the cutscene is going to take place inside of the stadium. So that's sort of where we're headed for now. Now, if I had to guess, and keep in mind this is just a guess, this season we probably won't see any significant changes to the Warzone map. Like, uh, I don't see us getting a new point of interest or anything like that in the coming days. And instead, the intel missions we have will basically hint at what's to come by the time the season is on its way out. And then, going into Season 5, we'll be able to see how exactly the storyline depicted through the intel actually comes into play with the various changes that we'll see added in. Anyways, with all of that being said, that is effectively everything we just learned about some of the future content coming to Modern Warfare and Warzone, and that is going to wrap things up for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know by dropping a like on it. And of course, if you're new here, and you want to stay up to date with the latest Call of Duty news, intel, updates, leaks, and pretty much everything in between, feel free to subscribe with your notifications turned on, that way you'll always know whenever I upload a new video. 
As I mentioned earlier, right now until the end of the day, my G Fuel discount code IMMORTAL will actually get you 30% off your entire order. So if you want to grab a new tub, shaker, or starter pack, or if you want to try G Fuel for the first time, now is a great time to do so. But once again, thanks so much for tuning in, and until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys later.